Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the areas of these two circles. And one of them is green and the smaller one is blue circle. And they are tangent to each other. And here are our circle without the colors. The bigger circle has center A and the smaller circle has center B. And these circles are tangent to this rectangle whose dimension is nine and eight units. So just keep in your mind, a rectangle has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees, the opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. That means these all angles are 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and get started with our very first step. Let's draw a vertical diameter that passes through, through this center A for this big circle. Here is my rough kind of diameter and here is it our nicer looking diameter and we can see that this vertical diameter is same as the height of this rectangle and we can see the height of the rectangle is eight units that means this diameter is going to be eight units as well and since the diameter is twice the radius that means the radius is going to be just four units, half of this number. So thus our radius R equals to four unit as you can see over here. Now in our next step, we are going to calculate the area of this bigger circle whose radius is four units. And here is the area of the circle formula pi r square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this area equal to pi r square formula. In our case, r is four units. So let's go ahead and write down area equal to pi time r is four and then square. So that is going to give us area equal to four square is 16 times pi. So thus the area of this bigger circle turns out to be 16 pi square units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this smaller circle. Let's examine this big circle once again. And we know that this is the radius of this bigger circle, which has length 4 units. And we also know that the length of this side is 9 units. So the length from this point to this one is going to be a 9 minus 4 equals to 5 units. Thus the length of this part of the segment is going to be 5 units. And here is our next step. Let's draw the radius of, of this smaller circle, which is going to be lowercase r. And moreover, let's recall this tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. So that means they are perpendicular. That means this angle is going to be 90 degrees and this angle is going to be 90 degree as well. And now we are going to connect these centers A and B. Let's go ahead and connect these centers. And here is our nicer looking graph. And as you can see that this part is the radius of this bigger circle that is four units and this part is the, the radius of this smaller circle, which is R. So this 
total length is going to become 4 plus r units. And now we are going to draw a rectangle of height r over here. As you can see, we have to be very careful. This is, this height is r units. And this point I am going to call point C. And since this is a rectangle, this has got to be at 90 degrees. And here is a much nicer looking figure. And we know that this side is 4 plus R units as we figured out last time. And over here, this height is R units. So if this is height is R, then this part is going to be is going to be 4 minus R, isn't it? So this is whole thing is 4 and take away this R is going to make 4 minus R. And as far as this part is concerned over here, we know that this from this point to this point is 5 units and we know that this radius r so the distance between this and this point is going to be 5 minus r so that means this the length of this cb is going to be 5 minus r units and here we got this right triangle ABC with all these three sides. This hypotenuse is 4 plus R. This A side is 5 minus R. And this side is 4 minus R. Now let's focus on this highlighted right triangle ABC. And here I have just copied it down right here and now we are going to solve this right triangle. And here is our right triangle ABC. Since this is a right triangle, we will be using this Pythagorean theorem. And here is the Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equals to C square. And here in our case, I am going to call this side an A, this side B, and this longest leg is going to be our side C. And here's our Pythagorean formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, A is 4 minus R. So I'm going to make 4 minus R square plus in our case, B is 5 minus R square equal to, in our case, C is 4 plus r square. And now we will be using these two well-known formulas, a plus b square and a minus b square, to expand our these binomials. Let's go ahead and do the first one. 4 minus r square is going to give us 16. 4 square is 16 minus 8r plus r square for the first one and for the second one is going to be 25 minus 10 r plus r square equals to on the right hand side 16 plus 8 r plus r square and as we can see that 16 is on this side and 16 on this side they cross out this r square and this r square cross out. Let's combine our like terms. So we're going to write down r square first and then minus 8r and minus 10r is going to make negative 18r and then plus 25 equals to 8r. Let's move this 8r on the left hand side. So we're going to get r square minus 18r plus 25 and this becomes negative 8r equal to 0 and let's combine the like terms again r square 
minus 26 r plus 25 equal to 0 and this is our quadratic equation let's go ahead and solve by factoring let's put down two factors is going to be r minus 1 and r minus 25 equal to 0 since these factors are equal to 0 I can split it up r minus 1 equal to 0 the other one is r minus 25 equal to 0 so we got two solutions r equals to positive 1 and the other one is r equals to 25 and now as you can see r is equal to 25 is not acceptable because if we put r equal to 25 so this is going to make 5 minus 25 equal to negative 20 and the length cannot be a negative number so therefore we are not going to accept it so this is rejected so therefore r equals to 1 is our only solution and here is our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of the smaller circle and here's the formula for the area of the circle which is equal to pi r square and here's the formula area equal to pi r square let's fill in the blanks and in our case r equals to 1 so area is going to be pi time 1 square so area equals to 1 square is same as 1 pi or simply area equals to pi so thus the area of the smaller circle turns out to be pi square units thus the area of the bigger green circle is 16 pi square units and the area of the, this smaller circle the blue circle is pi square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye